Well, here we are. It's a very, very sad morning. The CB500X is going back to Honda. I've got to take her back. Oh no, what we're going to do? We had an absolutely brilliant time with it. And I think I've sussed the stand. I don't think you can see. I've got the Ghost XL Pro on, which on the side of my helmet. But someone had left a comment saying, if you push the foot peg back as you flick the stand out, and it does, it works. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it from this angle. There we go. Thank you. Ooh, full tank. Let's make our way over to Honda on this sad, gloomy morning. I think the weather's reflecting how I'm feeling. But I've got to say, and I'm not going to tell the VFR, and I don't want any of you to tell the VFR, but I have had more fun on this bike than I've had on any bike I've owned. I know, I know, she's going to go mad when she is, but it's been brilliant. I've enjoyed it. Well, I mean, obviously with the VFR, with things like, you know, potholes and bridges in the road, you've got to be, you've got to be careful with it because it pulls the bike over. But with this thing, you don't have to worry too much about the road surface. You just go. And it's nice because it gives you that little bit more confidence. You're relaxed a bit more because you're not, you know, you're not going mad. I'm worrying about constantly checking the road in front of you. It's nice just to look forward and ride. And a big thing I think what stands out for this bike is confidence. I think that's the word what suits it. I think coming from bigger bikes, from your fire blade and VFR to this. I mean, you can you can throw this around anything. And I think it gives you a nice confidence boost that, you know, you're handling the bike great. You get used to your own bike, but when you can just throw this around, I think it makes you realize that you have got some riding ability. And I think if you're an inexperienced rider, a new rider, this bike's got enough to give you that thrill that you're sitting on a little rocket. And also I think it's enough to, um, to give you faith in your ability. It's such an easy bike to ride, it really is. Comfortable and so easy. It exceeded my expectations. I only said that last night to Griffin Jones Touring. The bike, to be honest, has blown me away. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Coming from the VFR, I thought, yeah, it's only a little 500, but she is one out of her bike, I've got to say. And the power, there's, I think there's enough power there. I honestly think you could too on this. You know, you see a lot of people saying that, you know, oh, but you'd want a thousand and... I don't think you do. And I think the thing with most of these big bikes and riders is most riders are outperformed by the bike. The bike is more capable than what you can do. Even some of these big channels, you know, none of us really are brilliant riders. Then you've got people like 44 Teeth, and obviously, people like 44 Teeth, this bike wouldn't be enough for them. They would absolutely hammer it to death. But I think for your normal person, your normal channel, this bike can do it. It really can do it. And you can be, not aggressive with it, but you can be a bit sprighty with the throttle. You know, it's not enough where it's going to spit you off and, and put the fear of 
death into you. Where, which I think, you know, it is good for A2 license holders, but there was enough there to give you that little bit of um, excitement, that thrill. To be honest with you, I can pin this bike around corners and the power's fine for me. I'm happy with it. I'm doing corners no faster than I would do on the VFR. Maybe, you know, motorway top end, yeah, you could probably squeeze a bit more, but, you know, I don't normally go down the motorway at 120 miles an hour, so, again, that's not really a factor I need to factor in. And considering this was my first press bike, what a press bike it is. I'm happy this was the first one. I've had so much fun with it. I could have picked the other bikes, but I think this was, this is one bike I always like the look of. And I thought, I th I'd imagined it was going to be a good, a good bike to ride. When I mean, I've been on B Piggy's, his BMW, thousand. I've been on Goosey's, the V-Strom thousand. And I thought, yeah, I want to try that style of bike, your little adventure bike, but with a smaller CC. Let's see what it's capable of. I suppose you might get your big GS and your big Triumph 1200s riders looking down on it, but. I don't see why. It's capable. Your big adventure riders, they're more like uh, Fred Flintstone. This is more like your Tasmanian Devil. But I'm going to have some music on. We're going to get on the motorway. And I'll see you when we get to Honda. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Honda. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I've really, really enjoyed it. I look forward to many more, many bikes, many adventures, and many reviews. Oh well, bye bye. CB500X. Oh, look at all these. Oh, how wonderful. All these are coming to my house. Why then? Hello, baby. Hello, baby. What are you doing? Are you not talking to me? God, oh, this feels weird now, getting on this. Jesus Christ, how is the clutch? God, the bar... <laughs> the bars feel really close together. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, having bars like that does spell you. Yeah. Oh my god. I feel like I'm clapping my hands on that close together. Oh man, I feel like I can't ride. <laughs> my camera's still on. Oh man, that, that is bizarre, that is. Look at me, I'm all over the place. Oh, my, oh, well, yeah, I can feel the difference in power already. The CB is very grunty down, but I'm end. Obviously this, it just, you pull it again, I'll just keep pulling. Right, come on, Craig. Oh, my God, look at me all out. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, we're gonna we're gonna have a coffee. Oh, even the gear lead, the gear lever feels feels high up. I don't know what I'm doing here, do I? I'm a mess. Look at me, I'm a complete mess. That's it. I'm back used to the VFR now. Oh, that was a strange first few minutes. That was. God, it didn't feel weird. Back to it now. We're all normal. We know what we're doing. Well, that's my journey done. We're nearly home. Back on the VFR. And I've got to say, Roy did another bike and then getting back on the VFR, although it was a bit strange at first, it makes you realise how good the VFR is. Fantastic bike. 
lovely power. It's good to be back on the good old girl. She's treated me well. She's not been jealous. She understood I needed to try another Honda. And because it was a Honda, she was okay. Let's get home. Let's have a brew. And I'll see you on the next video.